as a developer at the moment when i make changes to my game it's a lot like closing my eyes and kind of just like throwing darts at a dartboard <laughs> and then the brilliant part is that i don't get to see the dartboard i just kind of hear the reaction of the crowd to my dartboard throwing skills and if the crowd sounds impressed i'm like oh brilliant that was a great shot that is basically how launching features in games at the moment works unless you're using outside analytics platforms experimenting also more commonly known as a b testing is basically the ultimate solution to this problem and basically what these experimenting things let me do is create tests where some groups of users get one algorithm some group of users get like the other algorithm and other groups of users just get the basic same old algorithm unchanged and then what i do is i let those users play the game without knowing what you know what group they're in and what they're getting and then we just see okay who spends the most time in the game who comes back the most who plays with their friends this basically gives developers kind of an analytical approach to making decisions about their game so you know instead of throwing blindly you can have you know, you can feel like Albert Einstein. You've got a hypothesis and then you go implement it and then you see the results. And you know what? It's a bad throw. It's a bad feature. The people in that group may hate it, but that's only like 10% of your player base. So your game doesn't collapse overnight. Whereas if you have a good feature, you see, oh, brilliant. This is, you know, increased playtime and not hurt any of the other analytics. People really like this feature. And then you can roll it out to everybody else in your game and assume that you're likely going to get a similar reaction.